Hello. Welcome to Practica's instructional video on our online booking system. This video will cover the setup and usage of the rules-based method. We will explain both the setup of the service from the practice staff perspective, as well as the patient experience while booking online. The rules-based method works in conjunction with the provider working hours. Please note that the time slots outside of the designated provider working hours will not be published. Step 1. Set up provider working hours. I will use our CBD test practice for that. At the moment Thursday and Friday columns have no designated provider working hours. To allocate them, switch to the scheduler mode. Select a provider and the working hours by drawing with your mouse in the appointment book. I will use three or four different providers with intentionally different working patterns, so that they start and finish work at different times. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will only add the necessary functional areas such as the working hours. I am also adding the lunch functional area, however, it is not essential for online bookings. The working hours can overlap lunch areas if needed, but it's the working hours that matter when it comes to publishing the online booking slots. I will also use do not book functional area to exclude some working hours from appointment booking for Dr. Simon Waltersong on Friday as a report writing block. I am saving my setup. Upon the save, I will use an option to propagate my created schedule into the future for the next 16 weeks. I am also choosing to propagate the scheduler notes, too. Once the schedule is propagated, I will switch to the appointment view and I will check if the propagation worked by looking at the Thursdays and Fridays some three or four weeks into the future. It is all there. Step 2. Setup. Now I can set up the service parameters. I click on the management menu item and then I choose online booking. In the general tab I will set some text parameters that will be visible to patients while they are making online bookings. I can select a color scheme for my online booking interface and set some other parameters if needed. In also enabling the rule-based slot allocation checkbox and will also activate step-by-step -step forcing of the booking interface. The latter requires that patients complete every step to proceed further in the booking. I will then save my settings. Next I will proceed to the appointment type tab. These are the types of the appointments the patients can choose from while booking. I will create one more booking type. Braces alignment. I will set up the label for it and its duration. Your appointment type can also be associated with a particular treatment type, if needed. It allows you to create appointment type names that are meaningful for the patients, while internally have more professionally descriptive treatment types.
Now we are ready to set up the rules. I have a few providers who work in this practice, but for the purposes of this tutorial I will set up the rules only for the first four. For Simon Waltersong I will set it up in the simplest way. All his working hours are published for all working days with any available appointment booking type. For Dr. Martha Froggens I will have a more complex setup. On Monday I will add a time range between 8 o'clock am and 12 pm and I will only publish this time as hygiene appointment type. I will add another time range between 12 o'clock pm and 6 o'clock pm and I will publish it with the checkup appointment type. I can then quickly copy my setup to the following days by clicking the copy down button. However, for Thursdays and Fridays I will modify the rules. For Dr. Brian Lemecki I will assign the new braces alignment type for all his available working hours. So, it is only him and Dr. Simon Waltersong who will have the braces alignment slots published. For Dr. Adam Pontag I will publish all his working hours but I mix the different appointment types on different days. Then I will save my rules. It is all done from the practice management perspective. Let us now proceed to the patient online booking experience. I will have the screen split between the website via which the online booking will be made by a patient and our appointment book, so that we could see in real time when the appointments will be added to the book. A patient clicks the book appointment online button on a website to start the booking process. Step 1. Practice selection. This clinic has two locations, so the patient chooses CBD. Step 2. Select the appointment type. You can see that it lists the three types of the appointments we had previously set up. Once the patient has chosen an appointment type, a list of all available appointment slots of that type is shown. The list is split by the date and provider while the slot duration corresponds to the duration of the chosen appointment type. In this case, 20 minutes. If the patient chooses the hygiene appointment type, the listed appointment blocks, their duration and the providers are different. For the braces alignment type, there are only two providers available, Dr. Walter Song and Dr. Lemecki. It is exactly as it was set in the rules that we have specified. I will select the checkup type and then choose an appointment block on Thursday at 11 o'clock a.m. with Dr. Simon Waltersong. Then I will proceed to fill in my details. There are some compulsory fields the patient must enter to proceed further with the booking.
The date entry format is rather flexible as the input field is trying to recognize the correct date. Once the form is done, the patient is sent an SMS confirmation code to the entered mobile phone. If the entered code is correct, the patient is directed to the confirmation page, where it is also possible to add the appointment reminder to a personal calendar. In our appointment book you can see an appointment at 11am with Drive Waterson created for Rodrigo Testa, who is a new patient in this practice. The appointment also has a particular treatment type, indicated by the green strip. It is consultation. Let's make another booking. This time I want to make a hygiene appointment with a particular provider, Dr. Martha Froggens. In the filter providers selector I will choose Martha and then I will select an appointment slot at 10 a.m. on Friday. This time I will create an appointment for another person. The procedure is similar to the previous one, the only difference is that there are details of two persons, the person who makes the booking and the person for whom the booking is made. After the submission of the security code, the confirmation screen appears and the appointment is created in our appointment book. In both scenarios we have created a new patient entry while booking. However, if a patient record with the submitted credentials was found in the system, the appointment will be created with the existing patient. The match is done on the basis of first and last names, date of birth and mobile number. This concludes the instructional video on the rules-based method in Practica's online booking system. Thank you for your attention.